What's good, y'all? It's your boy Ross back at again with another video. So we're gonna check out how did Joe Hendry become so popular? This is by uh, Superb Take. Let me show y'all the channel. Uh, Superb Take hit me up on Twitter saying, "Hey, can he? Can I check out this uh, uh, particular video?" I said, "I definitely will." Um, I've been seeing so much of the Joe Hendry uh like popularity these past few months uh, i've been seeing it everywhere you know you got even football players nfl football players actually doing the i believe in joe hendry like it's it's a it's a thing now you know it's it, he's really gained a lot of popularity in tna and now all over uh social media and you see the popularity he's even gotten the wwe it's been featured on nxt a few times like it's crazy and i didn't really know who he was a few months ago but i i started seeing do you believe in joe hendry start popping up everywhere people were even asking us this on our live streams i didn't know who he was until i found out and hey it's working so i, I would def i was interested in this video to kind of get a better understanding of who he is and how his popularity came to where it is right now so uh definitely wanted to check this out appreciate all love support let's get right into this one man he appears i believe in joe hendry <laughs> joe hendry has quickly become one of the most popular wrestlers on the planet to be honest with you guys, a month ago, I had no idea who this guy was. Same here. I just kept on seeing his face on Twitter. Yeah. But eventually ended up diving into some of his content. And what I found is a star in the making. In this video, I'm going to be discussing the rise of Joe Hendry and his potential to become the next big thing in wrestling. Do you believe in Joe Hendry? I'm, I'm starting One to believe, man. I saw of Joe Hendry was him in TNA. You are yeah, this you clip are right here. Banned from diving, you are, you are, banned from diving. That shit is funny, bro. Yo, that top dog. You're banned from diving if you know him trying to dive over the top rope on SmackDown would haunt him for the rest of his days. That shit was funny, so the, the <laughs> banned from diving. It's fucking great. There is absolutely no way. Yep. You gotta be <laughs> I guess there's a reason he doesn't do that often. The first thing you notice about him is wait, this dude can actually sing. You can you please get fired? Because <laughs> it's happened twice before. <laughs> We've seen tons of musical acts in wrestling, for example, so great. But Joe Hendry is on a completely you different level. Doing fire. music is something I've never <laughs> seen before. Diving into this past, you find out that Joe Hendry has been a musician for over 10 years. Oh, and I didn't know that. Was actually well, it makes sense. a deal with Sony Music. I was doing music at the time, and um, you know the, the the band I was playing in had picked up quite a bit of steam to the point where we'd had we were having this meeting in you know the sony building on madison avenue and it's weird because music was like it was damn a dream for me because i actually didn't believe i was big enough to be a wrestler believe it or not joe hendry has a master's degree in business and marketing which is important to note following university joe hendry wasn't sure of what to do with his life however at the age of 25 he made the decision to become a pro wrestler and put 100 percent of his efforts into wrestling on January 1st, 2013, that's when I started training. It was at, it was a New Year's resolution. I was like, as of tomorrow, you are a pro wrestler. Wow. And I was very happy with the way that life was going. His journey began in Scotland, with him eventually finding himself in the UK independent scene, with most of his time being spent at the promotion ICW. During this time, you saw the foundation of what he would eventually become. He'd make parody music videos on popular songs and use them to enhance his views. Oh yeah, i seen this clip too. I have to be honest, some of them are honestly pretty cringe, <laughs> but some of them are also pretty good as well. And like I said, this was early on in his career and he eventually got better and better at it and we got to the level where we're at today. You know, there are times where you just feel that you can't get that dream to the next level. And so you're in this battle and this struggle to prove yourself. And then when a company goes, you know, forgive the pun, we believe in Joe Hendry, it's like, it's quite shocking. Like, <laughs> oh, I'm not used to, to being uh, booked this way. This is fun, but 
Skitty and cool. <laughs> One of Joe Henry's first big breaks came when he wrestled Kurt Angle at WCPW Refused to Lose in 2016. Now, Kurt Angle is one of the most recognizable names in wrestling. Him choosing to come to WCPW in the first place is kinda wild, but wrestling Joe Hendry, of all people, is even wilder. Hendry explains how he got the match. In 2015, someone tagged me and said, who's your dream match? And I said, Kurt Angle, and I tagged him. So Kurt Angle DMs me. And oh, he goes, wow. I know who you are. Um, you're not ready for it yet, but maybe one day we'll wrestle. I'd heard through the grapevine what culture had tried to book Kurt, but he said no. And then I thought, wait a second. And I went, Kurt, if I could get a financier to do the match, would you do it? And he went, this is what I need, you know, business class flight or whatever what, what it was. And I thought, to hell with it, you only live once. And I went, um, I actually marched into the What Culture office. And these guys are multi, multi, multi millionaires. Hey, oh. I went, okay. I, I demanded a meeting with them and I went, did you try to book Kurt Angle? And they went, yeah. And I was like, what did he say? And they went, oh, he said no. And I went, I can get Kurt Angle. But if I can get Kurt Angle... I wrestle in him. I wrestle him. And I'm now the top guy. Deal? Damn. And they were like, all right. And then we shook hands on it. And then because of that, I got to wrestle Kurt Angle on a pay-per-view with Jim Ross and Jim Cornette commentating. Wow. Started training in 2013. And this was 2016. So as you can imagine, my face was just exploding with pressure. <laughs> wow. This story exemplifies the key themes I've noticed when it comes to Joe Hendry. One of them is pure determination, mm -hmm. and the other is timing. He signed with Impact Wrestling in 2018 what? with the ROH, but his initial run with both companies didn't go too well. He didn't win any championships, and while some of his segments are entertaining, he didn't move the needle for either company in the same way we're seeing him do it now. He wasn't a main focus of either of their programs. In 2020, something happened that completely changed Joe Hendry's perspective. That face is funny, bro. <laughs> what happened in 2020, you ask? Well, COVID, of course. Yeah. And COVID came along mm -hmm. and yeah, it took wrestling away from me for such a long period of time. COVID was a hard time for everyone, but pro wrestlers were especially hit pretty hard. Mm -hmm. Pro wrestling is a contact sport, and obviously during COVID, it was a no contact time period. So a lot of them were out of work, and that included Joe Hendry. Hendry, however, saw this as an opportunity to improve himself. Having wrestling taken away from me, it forced me to have an increased gratitude for it and an increased gratitude for the opportunities as well. <laughs> and I remember um, fans were making me in the video games, and I was playing the video game, and I was like, I can't pick myself. I'm too boring. And I was like, all right, so what would I need to do to make myself an exciting action figure? And so I would want to play as myself in the video game. And uh, yeah, I literally just got one of the video games. I made myself. I made new new wrestling gear. I dyed my hair bleach blonde because I thought I needed to stand out a bit more. It's crazy that that's what sparked his wow. transformation. Like just comparing yourself to an action figure and be like, eh, would I really play with myself? Which is, again, a crazy statement. Yeah, crazy <laughs> statement for well, sure. COVID, he returned to Impact Wrestling in 2022 with an entirely new look and fresh feel to him. He also took steps to improve his in-ring ability, taking inspiration from wrestlers he watched back in the 90s. You can't have a fallaway slam as a finisher. So mm. I just decided, I started watching wrestling again as a fan, and I'd never really watched, you know, wrestling in like the, the mid-90s that much. Um, I was much later than that. But I just saw Psycho Sid and Scott Steiner and, you know, like early Goldberg, and I was like, yeah, let's do that. Okay, now to answer the question that's the title of this video. Why did Joe Hendry become so popular all of a sudden? Well, recently in 2023, Hendry, with the assistance of his brother, used social media to boost his wrestling career to new heights. Similar to what Zack Ryder did in 2013, mm -hmm. but with actual support from management. Yeah. This recent wave of popularity, um, a lot of it is... There is, Shout there out is to luck Blessed involved, Open. but a lot of it was calculated. So, for example, my brother quit his job at mcdonald's he was like can't take it anymore and he was editing for me like part-time and i was just like well i guess you're a full-time video editor i guess we better find something for you to do so we were feeding these videos into the algorithm and then fans mm. saw them and started to make them we just wanted to make enough so that the fans would get it and start to make them mm. themselves. The other example is I have like a toolkit of a bunch of things that I know will get a reaction so anytime someone tweets me and they're like super pissed off like i hate this guy he's just he, all he does is turn around <laughs> he's a punk ass biatch that can't hold a candle to the great ones of the past <laughs> and, 
and then I will retweet them with a no context picture of my grinning face and that <laughs> seems to get a big reaction as well Henry to me is a marketing genius yeah like I said earlier my first exposure to him was the memes <laughs> And that sort of got me invested into who is this guy? Why is his face on my screen right but, now? And that's what it was. I started seeing his face all the time. I'm like, what? And then I saw the infamous clip of him <laughs> cooking top dollar in a in a, a singing way. It was it was very, you know, obviously reminiscent of reminiscent of what the rock would do, but this was really enjoyable, very creative, hilarious. And then that's when the whole do you believe in Joe Hendry started flying, you know, really getting popular? And it's like, yeah, I do. <laughs> I don't even know who he is, but I believe. I believe in him. Like, it's it's so smart. No, the same thing applies with the billboards at Clash of the Castle. You know, someone mm -hmm. driving along will see that face and wonder who the hell is that. President Putin. Yeah. Be more proud. Yep. Okay, he was there. All that we've made it to today where Joe Hendry made his debut on NXT a couple days ago. We're in a new era of wrestling where the WWE is becoming more and more open to working with other promotions. Most recently, the company has begun a working relationship between TNA and the developmental NXT brand, with wrestlers crossing back and forth mm -hmm. between the two promotions. The most notable ones being TNA Women's Champion Jordan Grace, and of course the man himself, Joe Henry. His mm -hmm. arrival in NXT caused an explosion on social media. Yeah, the it video did. Of him debuting now has over 100,000 likes on Twitter, making it the second most liked video for the WWE since WrestleMania, which is pretty crazy. The insane reaction he got at the yeah, event look at that. shows the power of social media. Because I can guarantee you that a majority of the people there, like me, first got exposure to Joe Henry through social media mm -hmm. and not TNA television. Yeah, that's With what that it was. Said, you have to give a lot of credit to TNA, man. They're pushing Joe Henry relentlessly. They obviously gave him the digital media championship and they're allowing him to do all of this stuff with WWE. Like, shout out to TNA for being so open. It's incredible to see what they've been doing. So if you really look at my Twitter, I'm, that, I'm having fun and then it starts planting ideas and seeds and you know they can become very i've realized in wrestling that's how all this stuff has <laughs> happened is me just like having fun with potential narratives that could take place and then mm -hmm. look one of them just happened now that he's debuted at nxt the question is what's next for joe hendry i'm honestly not too sure he seems to truly love what he's doing with impact right now but it's undeniable that with his growing popularity that the wwe will look to sign him after his yep. contract with impact expires yep. what do you guys think is next for joe hendry man do you think we're gonna see him on monday night raw and smackdown soon if you enjoyed that video subscribe to the channel again we're on the road to 2000 subscribers <laughs> <laughs> Oh man, <laughs> I can definitely see this on Monday Night Raw. <laughs> now that the main video is over, I have a few additional thoughts. His appearance in NXT wasn't actually his first time being on WWE programming. Mm -hmm. That came 10 years later during this promo segment with Russo. Yeah. Henry recounts the story of how he pretty much stole the role from someone else. What actually happened, they hired someone specifically for the role but the, whichever referee it was got confused and didn't know this. So he just, a referee came up to me and says, bring your red tie tomorrow. He was like, where, he was like, where are my Russians at? Have you got the red tie? And I was like, oh, that must be me. And I'm like, he's like, where are my Russians at? And I put my hand up and there was actually a guy behind me who had been paid specifically to do the job. Oh. Who had shaved his head for the role. Oh. Like, so, and, and I ended up taking his spot, but I, but I, even know, I didn't know it till after. Oh. The Kremlin is overjoyed with your heroic progress. Wow. And here in the United Kingdom. I feel bad for that guy who lost their role on TV. Damn. <laughs> but it's kind of hilarious that it worked out that way. Yeah. Horrible Russian accent though, man. I know if you're Russian, give him a rating. I'm pretty sure you're going to say it's bad though. It's weird to think that a lot of the wrestlers that we see today have appeared in WWE programming mm -hmm. before. Like a, bod a random bodyguard that you see on Money Night Raw mm -hmm. could be the next WWE champion of years from now. Yeah. Like we've seen that with CM Punk, we've seen that with Braun Strowman, yep. Becky Lynch, LA Knight. So I don't yeah. know. It's, it's all super interesting to me. So yeah, that was my deep thought for this video. Um, 
Yeah, it's gonna take me a while to edit. I'm just realizing as I'm recording this, but hopefully it works out. <laughs> and He's like, oh damn, it's gonna take guys. me some time to do this. Bye. Damn it. <laughs> he said, damn it. When someone hits this in a video, bro, just know they're thinking about, God damn it. It's gonna take me forever to edit this shit. <laughs> this was a good one, man. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Let me do this. I'm gonna go ahead and give this a like subscribe to the homie i'm gonna link down the original video that way y'all can check it out show him some love right here superb take man appreciate you for sending this on twitter man i definitely enjoyed this got a little bit better context of who joe hendry is this was great i love this man hey i can definitely see him when his contract ends in tna i can see him going to wwe bro hell it would be cool if he made a guest appearance in the 2020 uh 2025 royal rumble next year i think the crowd would really pop for that if his popularity keeps going i think that would be interesting just to test the waters you know but i can see him going to wwe at some point you know and that's where you can really grow your popularity because it's the biggest wrestling company in the world so but comment down below let me know when did y'all first find out who joe hendry was y'all let me know down below was it a clip have you always known who he was through wrestling let me know down below but i appreciate all love support y'all showing on channel road to 150k appreciate y'all kicking it with me see you on the next one peace